Number 10. Plane in the Mountains In the remote Himalayan mountains of India, a World War II plane that has been missing for 80 long years was just discovered. It was a C-46 transport aircraft with a total of 13 people on board. The plane left Kunming in the south of China and then vanished during a particularly bad storm in the mountains. This was in the first week of 1945. After it vanished off the radar, it was never seen again, and nobody ever found the bodies of the passengers. The transport aircraft simply ceased to exist. It was an adventurer from the U.S. named Clayton Cools who led the only successful mission to the peaks of the mountains to find and photograph the airplane. The whole expedition was incredibly dangerous, especially since just a little while earlier, three local hunters died from hypothermia while traversing the same mountain range. They were caught in an unexpected September snowstorm and froze to death. Clayton and his team discovered the C-46 buried in the snow and were able to identify it by its tail number, although they never did find any of the bodies of the missing men on board the plane. Number 9. Wrecked in Papua New Guinea a man named Justin Talon works with the Pentagon to help recover and identify soldiers who went MIA during World War II. Specifically, he helps hunt down crashed airplanes and ruined vehicles that went missing during the war in some of the more exotic places in the world. Over the past 20 years, he's visited the island nation of Papua New Guinea dozens of times in his search. He's waded through swamps infested with crocodiles to photograph and archive crashed airplanes. Unfortunately, Talon isn't able to officially comment on the over 80 different pieces of wreckage that he's discovered, but he can talk about some of the ones he's found in Papua New Guinea. One was a Martin B-26 Marauder that Talon found slowly sinking into a muddy swamp. He believes the aircraft was forced to make an emergency landing during the war. The pilots then had to march through the jungle until they were able to contact civilization. And this is only one of the dozens of planes that crashed and vanished into the island's dense jungles during the war. Number 8. The Blacklist At the beginning of the war, Adolf Hitler was planning to invade the UK and have it completely occupied by the fall of 1940. This would no doubt have very much changed the tide of war and maybe even the outcome, but it never happened. France crumbled like a soggy birthday cake and Hitler just kind of hoped the British would submit. They never did, and we all know the outcome. But here's something crazy. Police in Britain and the secret organization MI5 were fully expecting an invasion. They came up with a blacklist of 720 Britons that they thought might help Nazi Germany if they tried to invade. The list was filled with people important enough to cause harm and questionable enough to side with the fascist army. Nearly 80 years later, we know some of the names of the people on the list. Some were teachers, some were shopkeepers, others were farm laborers and factory workers. Some were even powerful retired officers in the British army. Sir Oswald Mosley was one of them, the leader of the British Union of Fascists. He was considered so dangerous in the case of a German invasion that he was imprisoned and his political party was torn apart and banned from ever reforming. Number 7. A Toxic Shipwreck About six miles off the coast of Sweden, there's a shipwreck at the bottom of the North Sea. It's called the Skateren, and it was destroyed 80 years ago. After all these decades underwater, it's considered the most dangerous shipwreck in Sweden. This is because the Swedish Navy investigated the wreckage and discovered that it had a huge crack in its hull. The crack is in danger of widening, which could cause oil to pour into the ocean. It's considered a toxic shipwreck, deteriorated and on the brink of unleashing an estimated 110,000 gallons of oil. The ship originally sank in 1942. It was part of Norway's commercial fleet during the early days of World War II. As Germany began to take control of the Baltic region, Norway secretly allowed 10 of their best ships, including this one, to move towards Britain. But only two made it to British waters. Six were sunk by the Germans and two of them were destroyed by their own crew to keep out of German hands. As for all that oil waiting to be dumped in the ocean, Sweden says they've started to drain it. However, we don't know how long that will take or how much oil it will successfully remove. Number 6. Shoichi Yokoi Shoichi Yokoi was the last Japanese soldier to surrender. In the 1940s, Yokoi couldn't handle the possibility of being captured and turned into a prisoner of war, so he hid in the jungles of Guam. He stayed in those jungles until somebody found him in January of 1972. He returned to his country after three decades of living like a monkey in the jungle. He was literally hiding out in the wild, thinking a war was still raging. He had originally fled into the trees when the American forces arrived in August of 1944. He was one of roughly 5,000 Japanese soldiers who refused to surrender, preferring to become prisoners instead. By the time the war was over in September of 1945, there were an estimated 130 Japanese soldiers still hiding in the jungle. Shoichi Yokoi was the last soldier standing. In 1972, he did not go willingly. 
he had cemented himself in that jungle and would have stayed there until his death. It was only when he was overpowered by a pair of local fishermen that he finally surrendered and was sent back to Japan. He lived a long life, dying of a heart attack at the age of 82 in 1997. Do you think hiding in the jungle for three decades was a brave show of national pride or just pure idiocy? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to hit subscribe before the end of the video. Number 5. Secret Submarine A secret sunken submarine was discovered by maritime archaeologists and turned into a virtual reality experience. The submarine is the I-124 Mine Layer No. 52. It served the Imperial Japanese Army until being sunk by the Allies in 1942. Its sinking saw the death of 80 crew members, with the submarine falling to the very bottom of the ocean. Before it was destroyed, the Japanese Army had used it to lay mines in the ocean off the coast of the Philippines. These days, diving down to this mysterious wreck is not possible for everybody. The wreckage site is controlled quite strictly. To give ordinary people a glimpse at the spooky underwater wreckage, the Australian Institute of Marine Science stepped up. They mapped the wreckage completely by using the newest remote sensing equipment in 2021. They mapped every last inch of the submarine and then put it into a VR experience. Now you can swim around the shipwreck without even getting your feet wet. Number 4. The Reindeer Army In World War II, the Soviet Army forced around 1,000 indigenous reindeer herders in Siberia to surrender their reindeer. It was part of their reindeer army between 1941 and 1944. The reindeer didn't actually fight in the battles, but were used to transport supplies shipped from North America to troops on the battlefield. The reindeer were used as pack animals, which actually makes a lot of sense if you think about it. To get valuable supplies from one place to another in the frigid northern wilderness, there was no better animal than the reindeer. Sadly, this proved detrimental to the reindeer population. Research from the Arctic Institute of North America has shown the number of reindeer fell dramatically between 1939 and 1945. Somewhere around 220,000 reindeer died in the war effort, either from being overworked or from being turned into food to feed the hungry soldiers. Now, near just about every major battlefield along the Russian front, you can find heaps of reindeer bones buried in the mud. Number 3. The Ark Royal The Ark Royal was named after the flagship vessel in the fleet that defeated the Spanish Armada in 1588. The ship was designed in September of 1935, then commissioned in December of 1938. It was, for the 30s, one of the most impressive pieces of naval technology in history. It was the first aircraft carrier Britain made specifically to be an aircraft carrier. It had hangars designed to be an integral part of the ship's hull, rather than added on to it after construction was over. The flight deck had catapults, arresting cables, and the ship had massive dual-purpose guns, turrets, and machine guns. It was a force to be reckoned with that could carry 70 aircraft. In 1941, the Ark Royal helped track down and sink the most fearsome German battleship in history, the Bismarck. But in November of that same year, the carrier's luck ran out. It was returning from a convoy mission to Malta when a German submarine snuck up on it and blew its starboard side open with a single torpedo. The torpedo ripped a hole beneath the waterline and the ship started sinking immediately. The crew was ordered to abandon ship with only one fatality. The ship split in half and still sits 3,500 feet deep, 30 miles from the coast of Gibraltar. It wasn't seen again by human eyes until 2002 when divers with the BBC found it. Number 2. Lost Letter a letter from World War II has just been delivered nearly 80 years after it was originally sent. It was workers at a distribution facility for the U.S. Postal Service in Pittsburgh that spotted the letter in their archives. It was written in December of 1945 by a man named John Gonsalves, an army sergeant. At the time he wrote the letter, he was just 22 years old. He had sent it to his mom three months after the war officially ended and was stationed in Germany. The workers at the postal office realized the letter needed to be delivered. The issue was that it had been too long, the soldier's mother was already dead, and so too was the soldier. Yet they were able to track down his widow, a woman named Angelina, and deliver the letter to her. The contents of the letter weren't all that surprising. The soldier wanted to let his mother know he didn't like the food in Germany, but he was in good health. He also told his mother that he would be seeing her soon, and he did. He was married to Angelina for 61 years and only died in 2015. He made it back to the U.S., but his letter somehow got stuck in purgatory. Number 1. A Lost Dog Tag Assistant Professor Melissa Pijos at Valdosta State University received a rather strange email from a woman in France. The woman claimed that she discovered her father's dog tag while out hiking in the rural Fontainebleau forest. There was a battle here in World War II between the Americans and the Germans to liberate the French. Sometime during the battle, Melissa's father, Pete Pijos, lost his dog tag. Somebody probably stepped on it, it got smashed beneath the dirt, and there it laid for the better part of a century. 
After receiving the dog tag from a generous French stranger, Melissa worked up the courage to make an unexpected journey. She flew across the world and walked through the forest trail in the same place where the dog tag was found. For Melissa, it was a profound feeling to literally walk in the footsteps of her father where he had fought in battle over 70 years before. What's the most bizarre secret from World War II you've ever heard of? Let us know in the comments below and thanks for watching the video. If you liked what you saw, hit subscribe to help support the channel. We'll see you again soon for another amazing video right here on American Eye.